Hey guys, so we were given the opportunity to take a quick three or four day trip around the 4th of July weekend back out to our Montana place. And since we were waiting for the electrical to be done and for the concrete to get finished so that our contractor can start our barn, we decided to take a first crack at our uh, new homestead garden. So what we're doing here today is kind of getting a, a boundary set up to see what kind of area we have. Hey guys, so what we're doing here today is we are getting ready for our garden. We wanna stake it out and start figuring out where we're gonna put the garden so we can get water to it. Um, since we're having power and water run right now, it's the best time to figure out where we want those spigots. And um, since we're here for several days, we're gonna start doing some work. So right now we are mowing and there's so much fallen trees and wood on the ground. I'm having to walk in front of the tractor and pick up and point out the big pieces of wood so that we can move them before the mower goes across it. So it's a lot of work um, and the cut grass smells amazing, but it is kicking our butts with the allergies. So good times. We will keep you posted on how we're doing and bring you along on this journey. We gotta put a fence line in here. <laughs> we gotta put a fence line in here, so we need to figure out where we're gonna put it. And we know we're gonna put the garden shed over here. So I just wanna take a look and see where we think is the smartest place to put this fence. So we'll just cut a path with the tractor, then we'll know exactly where everything's at. I love it. Cool.
Hey guys, so we've spent about three days working on the property. We've been clearing wood that's fallen, deadfall. We've been taking the uh, brush hog and we're going through and kind of defining some areas and we thought we'd give you a little walk around tour and show you what we're thinking. Now, nothing's set in stone. All we have are mowed paths and some T-posts to kind of set the place or a placeholder so we can come back and find it once it's all overgrown. So we're gonna show you everything real quick. So we're starting on the road, just to kind of give you a lay of the land. This is where the barn is going to be built here this summer. And then immediately off to my left, this is going to be where we put our forever cabin, right in here. And then directly behind me, 180 degrees, is the path going into the garden. Now as we mow this, the other thing we did is we took a look at our fence lines. We got tons of deer here. So we cleared paths in order to put fencing so we could establish a boundary. So even inside the area that we already mowed, we can still grow it as we feel that we need to. Now over here, and I don't know if you can see it, but way back in this corner is our well. And it's got to get connected all the way to the barn and to the cabin. And then here is, uh, we have these, there's five T-posts here, but the four that don't have uh, marking tape on them, this is where we're gonna put Lisa's garden shed. And then we go into this section and we haven't measured it yet, but this section opens up into this huge expanse of what we think is gonna be our garden. You also notice where over here we'll have a man gate so we can get in and out without any power equipment. And then over here, right across from the barn is how we'll get the tractor in here in order to do some work. And then just as we were thinking we were gonna call it quits, we started looking at some other areas, possibilities for the future. So we found this section over here and what we're gonna do is we're gonna fence this section off and it's by itself, put some predator mesh across the top, and then we'll put our chicken coop right here, and that's where we're gonna house our chickens. And then we think we're gonna have the greenhouse in this area here, and then up in this section, which we found last minute also, we're gonna use this as the start of our orchard. And then if we need more space, we can always clear this clearing in between the trees so that we can put more fruit trees. So that's it for the garden. Also the entire perimeter will have a fence around it in itself. So once we fence that off, we can plant inside here and not have to worry about the deer or any of the other animals coming to eat it. Here in this area too, it's bear country. We're also gonna hot fence it so the bears don't come in, find something they wanna eat and or eat our chickens. Right, and we are so excited to bring you along with us on this journey. If you like what you see here, be sure and subscribe to our channel. That's the best way to help support it. And if you like it, be sure and give us a thumbs up. We'd love to hear from you. If you have any ideas, comments, please share them in the area below. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Thanks.